But up first today, Georgia farmers depend on irrigation systems to keep their crops alive during the hot, dry Georgia summers. For farmers thinking about switching from expensive diesel power to grid electricity to power those systems, running three-phase power could be quite cost prohibitive for the farmer. But the monitor's Mark Wildman found one company in Hazelhurst, Georgia, whose technology could save farmers big money on powering their pumps and be better for the environment. This is a very common site on Tate Farms located in Jeff Davis County. The irrigation pivot and others on the farm keep the crops alive and thriving. Owners James Emery and his son Jamie are diversified farmers who understand the value of water. So when they decided to convert to electricity from diesel generators, they weighed all of the cost. When pivots are running, sometimes you run 20 hours, 48 hours, and you try to time it where one will cut off in the daytime instead of being up at two, three, or four o'clock in the morning. With these electric systems here, you can just uh, have your stop set, and if you're in bed at three o'clock, it automatically shuts down where diesel engine would keep on running. With the cost of diesel today and electricity being a whole lot cheaper, it's almost half the cost of operating. To run large pumps on the farm, you need to utilize what is called three-phase power. It is a special type of power that is usually run for industrial applications, and it is very expensive. And that is where H3 pump controls comes in. They were able to install a converter that would allow single-phase power, a much cheaper line to run, and convert it to the more costly three-phase power. There's some technology that's been around for, I guess, I guess about 40 years um, with the variable speed drives. Industry's used them for quite some time. And uh, so we take that technology that's already been available for us, and we're able to implement it into a nice 3R outdoor rated, you know, weatherproof enclosure. It's fan cooled to help keep the electronics of the equipment cool. And we're able to take the, the equipment and utilize it such that it has the ability to transform the single phase power into three phase with some internal um, IGBT switching that it does inside, which is a technical term that's known in the industry. Now this pump can hum along very efficiently, just like the manufacturer recommends. It works just like an engine. I mean, it's, if you're used to pulling on a throttle cable, it's no different with uh, our equipment. It, it runs just like an engine. It starts and stops, and you can adjust the speed accordingly to set whatever flow or pressure you need for your equipment as far as the irrigation pivot. Now the cost to run three-phase wire depends on how far you have to run it. This particular farm would have had to come from the road, which is about three miles away. Instead, they could run single phase from the house, which is only about an eighth of a mile. It was gonna be about $35,000 difference that to run three-phase than to come in with single phase. I'm looking for it to be a, a, a big help to all the farmers because we got a lot of well, farmers in rural areas and they just don't have the availability of three phase current. The farm admits they still had to spend a lot of money, but the cost savings were very high on this farm and the product is also very environmentally friendly. A typical diesel engine per horsepower puts out 22 pounds of CO2 and uh, the equivalent amount of energy it takes electrically uh, to accomplish the same work is probably 85% less. So the, the potential impact on carbon footprint is, is just unbelievable. Even though this pivot, pump, and converter were very expensive, if it keeps the farm going and future generations benefit, the Tates feel it is all worth the expense. Reporting from Jeff Davis County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.